face is recording now. No, no, no. Uh, my mistake. Uh, oh. When I try to, when I try to, to go to another room, sometimes uh, it is, sin querer lo hago, que le doy en el recording stop, pero ya después me queda cortado. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to see what the other groups are doing. If you need help, just let me know, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ay, espérame, que como volví a cerrar la cinta bayunca, ya no puedo ver el chat. Pégamelo en WhatsApp, por favor. Ahorita, ahorita. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How, how is everything here? How eh, have you? Just finish this. Okay. Oh. How many minutes do you need? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice estamos verdes? We are green. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a hold. Like a hold. Hold. Okay. To get the information, Rodrigo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I try to send in in Spanish too. Get away. Let's see. Maybe. Tornillo is a screw, verdad, teacher? Screw. Screw. Yes. Screw. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye. The last one is what is ah the benefits. Pues uno de los beneficios es fácil de manejar e, e instalar en cualquier casa, ¿verdad? Como son más, no, más, no, 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 como... los beneficios de crear un prototipo. Ah, ok. Ahorita, va, entonces aquí ya entro yo, porque así me enhuevé yo con mi pantry. <risa> <risa> <clears throat> How do you say this word in English? Me enge. Uh -huh. mm. Sí, sí. Me mm. enjarané. O me endeude. <laughs> me enjaraní. Hay <laughs> enjaraní. Esas son solo palabras salvadoreñas. No se sí. no pueden traducir. I really. Pero um, sí le podemos buscar es... el, la idea, pero ajá, es ajá. decir, la traducirla así literal, me enjarané o me, o me enhuevé, como está diciendo. <risa> <risa> así no. <risa> sí, es mi árido sin gracia. Es our idiosincrasia. Me enjarané. How do you say deuda? Debs, de, mm -hmm. de, de, debs, maybe debs. Mm -hmm. Debt. Debt yourself, me. I don't know. Debt yourself. So, how do you say men deude in English? Men deude. Debt. I don't know. How do you say that? I got into that. Ah, you can say that. I got. I got into that. Oh, I have. 
that. Ah, okay. Teacher, do you realize that uh, this test, I don't know how the, what, what is the name? Uh, TOEFL? TOEFL? Mm -hmm. Yes. That. Do you realize the TOEFL? If I have taken before the TOEFL. Mm -hmm. Yes. Long time ago, but I did it. And also I, the TOEFL and is... the toy. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. But you are teacher, teacher, uh, official teacher, maybe. <coughs> you need to have a, a a bachelor degree, and you need to make a lot of tests, and that is one of them. That the TOEFL or the or the other one that is the toy. Toy uh -huh. TOEFL. To get a certification with INSA for if you don't do it, you don't you cannot work there. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. oh, it is a it is a long process. Ah, really? Yes. Um, you need well, to maybe have you, a you letter. Have... Yes. Ex excuse me, teacher. Uh, I think that you have to obey. It's three years, maybe, right? It is valid for three years. Uh huh. Ah, okay. I did it. The toy. Yeah, the toy boy. It is the one that I did um last year. Ah, really? Ah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why? Sí, ahorita, sí. Do you have to do it? No, 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 teacher. It, it, I hear uh, or, or something tell me about uh, this topic. You know, when you are a, a teacher, you need to obey TOEFL and TOI maybe each three years. Of course, obviously to to obey the. No, if you need it for maybe. another process, if you need it for another process, right? Because you can, you can get a certification. For example, I I, uh, well, I get it or I got it last year certification with ASA for, so. Mm -hmm. It in this case I already certified. If I need to do another process, for example, in 2025, that require one of these tests, I have to do it again because the one that I have from 2022, it is not valid, right? But for the certification that I already have, so it doesn't matter because I have the certification. So just if mm -hmm. I if I had to do another process, yes, I that required the the test. I need to do it to do the to do it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, huh? but in the university, I said, but what do you teach? You have teach uh, classes in English. Not exactly, uh, the an English class, but it, um, the classes are in English. For example, I speak about different topics related to to didactic in English. Mm. Mm -hmm. You teach uh, other teacher? Other subjects. No, not, in, not English. Uh, like this model. It is different. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all. Ready? Yes. yes okay. okay, good. Como somos bien portados, nos va a sacar temprano, ¿verdad? <laughs> a las 10, a las 10. <laughs> yes. Okay, I promise I will do it exactly at 10 o'clock. Okay? 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. No clock, more couple. no more minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, teacher, you can do it. Nah, I cannot do it because if I do it, I have to repeat the class. Discount, that, discount of your is, salary, teacher. Uh huh. No, no, no. I have to repeat the complete class because that really? is the, 
that is a requirement. So really? one day it happens to me that I forgot to record the the class. Mm -hmm. I re I it, the system was no uh recording like automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, I was soon. Uh huh. So probably the class have uh, fifteen minutes le uh, left than two hours. Not a complete two hours, like one hour and for in forty five minutes to record. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. record it, and I <clears throat> have to come to do it again another day. Repeat. Repeat the class. Mm -hmm. And imagine the weekend you schedule that the class maybe. Mm, or, it was or... a different. Uh, it was a different model that was just from Monday to to. To Thursday, so we have Friday off, <laughs> but in that case, uh, I had to do it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, really, but it's true. But maybe have a a lot of people absent, maybe, mm. or or not. Some of them, like like always, we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me close the rooms. I guess so enough time for everyone. Let me close the rooms. So teacher, last question. Last yes. Question. Uh, I can say how how have you been? How have you been? How how, how have you been? It's correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's it's Como like almost. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, it's como has estado. It's, it's, the idea is uh, something different. Uh, that's how are you, right? Um, that is like a como estas, right? Como estas ahorita, como estas. But have how how have you how, been? Es como como que es le está preguntando cómo has estado eh, en este tiempo que no te he visto. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. es, okay. es diferente. Well, what I can understand, si yo le pregunto a usted cómo está o cómo ha estado, so what you. is the difference that you, how how different do you feel that question? Mm. I, I mean, I think it's, it's maybe I respond to equal. Request. The response it could be the same, right? I'm very uh very good, good or very nice. well, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you're, you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me leave the room and then, then I will close all the rooms. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Yes, hello. Everybody is back. Yes. Yes, I think so. Okay, good. 
Welcome back, everyone. I hope now you are ready. Okay. So I have as the first team, room one, I have Carlos, Gilberto, and Rodrigo. Then I have a lady. Uh, um, in the room three, I have Cindy and Nancy. Room four, Daniela and Katy. And room five, Mauricio and Rolando. Oh. Okay. Do you want uh, the wheel of names or do you want to participate? Um, well, I will ask for volunteers and you can save if you want to be the first one or next. Who wants to be the first team? You can use the spin circle. Yes, yes I can do it. Let me do it. <laughs> okay. The wheel of names. Just let me add the rooms. I have room one. Room two, room three, room four, room five. Okay, let me share that. Okay, let me see who will, who will be first. <clears throat> okay, first will be round one. Let me see who will be second group. Okay, round four. Next. Number five. Number one. And finally, number two. The lady will be no, the last one. Okay, good. So I'm going to stop sharing and you can start sharing. Ring, room number three, what is Cindy and Nancy? Uh, okay, miss. Mm -hmm. So a moment. Okay. I cannot see your um ahorita, 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 ahorita. Yet. Okay. Ahorita. Thank you. Ay. No, no, no puedo. I already activated. Multiple participants can share. Okay. No sé, ¿ya se puede? Yes, I can. I can see. It. Pero no me permite presentar. Oh, you, okay. you can share that in 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 the chat, and I can I can share for you. 
Oke. Okay. Ahorita la mandé. Thank you so much. Okay, just a moment. Okay, there you have it. Okay. When you are ready, you can start. Okay, and good evening. And we are present the prototype of Venezuelan chicha. And uh, next, please. Okay. Um, okay, and we have as prototypes and two prototypes for drink is the hot and ice drink. And the ingredients of the ice Venezuelan chicha test is one cup of rice, one cup of sugar, milk powder, one spoon of vanilla, two liters of water, two cinnamon sticks, ground cinnamon, condensed milk, ice, and one pinch of salt. And for the hot Venezuelan chicha, the ingredients that we decide to use is one cup of rice, one cup of sugar, milk powder, one spoon of vanilla, two liters of, of water, water, a condensed milk, and one pinch of salt. Next, please. It looks delicious. <laughs> okay, the benefits that we decide from the ice Venezuelan chicha is uh, the a cold drink will have a less uh, bitter taste and lower temperatures. Temperatures, but as a, it gradually warms up, that's a bitter taste becomes stronger. A cold drink causes a bitter thermal sensation. It is more appealing when it's a hot because it's tram transmits Throw the malt and refreshing sensation. 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 Sorry. <laughs> the next one. And uh, for the ice Venezuelan chicha benefits, uh, among these benefits we can find it has diuretic properties. It is highly recommended for diabetic people it helps you lose weight it helps it helps us feel relaxed when we are tired helps lower blood pressure and contains enzymes and zinc and we choose for our pro our final product to be ice chicha because of the benefits and the preference and for the popularity of ice drinks Okay, good, really good. Yes, I consider that will be a successful uh, product. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Someone? <Yeah. laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe <Yeah. I> <laughs> we consider <laughs> when we work in this, uh, we talk about consider <laughs> loud. <laughs> yes. I instead for the soda. <laughs> <laughs> okay good 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 benefits so
temperature. Okay, temp temperature. You can say temperature. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Then everything is okay. Thank you so much. Very good job. Okay, good. So then is room number four. Ring, room number four, where is Daniela and Katy? Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. You can start sharing if you want. Wow. It is delicious too. <laughs> okay, good evening. Our product is a strawberry lemonade. Description, it is a refreshing drink made from fresh fruit. It is a natural drink without preservatives. The drink contains vitamins C and E, provides benefit for healthy skin, accessible price, easy preparation. Vitamin. Vitamin. Mm -hmm. Ingredients and materials. Strawberry, water, ice, lemon, lemon, sugar, peppermint, plastic deposit, straws. Benefits of building a prototype. Building. Custom. Come. Building. Building. Building a prototype. Mm -hmm. Building. Customers acceptance to identify improvements that can be made to the drink. Select potential suppliers. Determine the right amount of ingredients. Promote the health benefits of the drink. Thank Only you so teacher. Much. Only that? Yes. Yes. Okay. I have a question. Yes. What does mean straw? Uh huh. Got girls, answer Carlos' questions. Straw, maybe straw. E S T R A W S. Go back your presentation. Yes, please. Previous okay. screen, maybe appear straw. Um, um pahilla. Go back. Go back. Ah, pahilla. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Strong. That is right. Ah, straw. Okay. It's pajilla. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or popote. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Very good. Was really good. Okay. Vitamins. Repeat that, please. Vitamins. Vitamins. Building. Building. And go to the last uh, slide, please. The last one. No. La última. At, at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. So you want to say identity in this in this work here? Identity because it says identity. 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 No, but that word doesn't exist. Do you want to say identity? Identity. Identity. Oh, it has a T, no, 
identity identity did you find it identity identity Identity. Es que I don't find it. No lo encuentro. No lo encuentro que tenga la F I. Está como de más. Mhm. Uh -huh. Es L I cinco B. Identity. Quieren decir identity, right? Identity. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So El F I I, F I is incorrect. You need to delete it. Just identity. Okay. Identity. Yes. Okay. Very good job. Thank you so much. Okay, now T number five. Where is Mauricio and Rolando? But I can see only Rolando. Mauricio is there, but he's a listener. Rolando, ready? Hello, Rolando. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Excuse me. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Okay, you can share your screen. Okay. Give me one moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to to a presentation the the prototype. Okay. Uh, the kitchen cabinet. Mm -hmm. A list a list of effect, uh factories of our product. Features place. of our product. Mm -hmm. Feature okay. Place where you can get a kitchen. Utensil, a uh, different color and the size of cabinets, easy to carry and install it for any place. Uh, the composition of material for created these products are ecological. Mm -hmm. The the duration du durations of the product is about 10 years. Okay. So uh, the material of our product, uh, melanina is a kind of wall. Mm -hmm. A sky and anchors. Uh, the benefit of building a uh, prototype uh, Wow, comfortable, easy to install, long duration. Your kitchen will look very well, very, very beautiful. Um, the price is very economical. Okay, really good. Uh, only that, teach. Only that. Yeah. Screw. Okay, it's screw. A screw. It's screw. screw. Mm -hmm. Screw. Okay. Okay, really good. Good job. Thank you so much. Um Rolando. Okay, now yes. team number one, what is uh Carlos, uh, Gilberto and uh, Mauricio. Go ahead. Okay, good evening. Hey teacher, uh, let me let me share the screen. Okay. Okay, Carlos, go go ahead. 
Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are talk about uh, that new product. In this case is a pantry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we have a lot of ideas, brainstorms, so uh, uh, we have to start a developing a new product with many variety of world and play world. In this case, the main products is personal personalized pantry. Uh, yes, the idea is that uh, show or launch a product that the customer uh, uh, have to uh, very cheap right uh, and the form or way to installation is very easy and, and cheap or party a good option for your budget the space and personal design selection okay so rodrigo or gilbert uh, me me okay um, okay gilbert new pro new product pantry Fixture to body furniture, two floor, three drawer, and three small doors, all ingles. Two ceiling, three small glass doors, and I serve in play. Main dimension, uh, one, one, uh, 100. 100, 120 cent week for fighting 50 cent digs for 19 cent ace to floor and uh, 120 cent the other body the the pantry and uh, the dimension Main dimension uh, 120 cent with for 35 cent deck for 60 cent A to sailing. Okay, thank you. We, for the list to make a prototype, in this case, a prototype of the pantry, you make a showroom. It's a place where you can make a, an example of pantry and adapt it to a, fix, a, a fictitious kitchen. So in this case, the people can, can go and see uh, how the pantry will look in their house. Also, another type of prototype is is when you visit a customer you 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 have a little small uh, pieces or in this case wool or maybe play wood to show the people the color the mat the, the material of the wood or the of the furniture and have a uh, have an idea of the durability the quality etc but in order to make a prototype, in this case for a showroom, uh, we will. Uh, it is necessary to use screws, a sheet of drywall, drywall screws, drywall mud, sand, sanding block, a, a paint roller, and a tray. And in this case, obviously, play wood and wood in order to make your pantry, the main material, right? Good. So, uh, I don't know, Carlos, Gilberto, I don't know if you want to, to say the benefits. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, the last one, uh, screen mentioned a list of benefits of the prototype. Uh, for example, the people can see and have a better idea of the pantry they like. Uh, that's mentioned it, uh, Rodrigo. Uh, the idea is that the client uh, could be or to do 
uh, personalize the pantry, right? For for your kitchen. Uh, the other one is can first and check the quality of the furniture, of course. And we have uh, the better raw materials. Uh, uh, with a small sample of the wood and playbook, uh, oh, excuse me, by, a, by appreciating the prototype, you can add or remove filter. Yes, of course. With a small sample of the wood and playbook, can evaluate color and durability. Customer can know an appropriate pantry cost, of course, depending on the of the uh, budget. And is approximate. Also... You said appropriate. Approximate. Ah, pantry. excuse me. Ap approximate pantry mm -hmm. cost. Yes. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Really good. Okay, thank you so much. Um, furniture. Repeat that, Gilberto. Furniture. Furniture. Mm -hmm. furniture. When you have furniture. CM, Gilberto. Centimeter. How do you say? Centimeter. 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 Uh huh. That is the way that you're going to read it when you have C M. Centimeter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Width. Go back, uh, Rodrigo, to the slide number three, two. Sorry. Yeah, there. Width. Okay, that is width. W I D T H. Width. Okay. Height and depth. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much. I like it. Okay. So good products. So I like all of them. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Okay. And finally, lady. The last one, but not least. Okay. Teacher, would you like to buy some? Your product? Yes. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the color Asia. do you prefer? Ah, color. <laughs> I prefer yeah. the color uh, white. White. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, go ahead, lady. Thank you so much. Okay, headphones. We are your best choice. Description of our headphones. The process begins with the salary, the right materials, such as plastic, metal, and electronic components. Then, the design of the headphone is done, taking into account comfort, aesthetic design, and sound quality. Once the design is ready, we move on the actual manufacturing stage. This includes the injection of plastic to create the housings, the assemble of the electronic components, such as the speakers and cables, and the implement, implementation of noise cancelling technology in some case. Below are the main raw materials used in the manufacture of hearing aids, housing, speakers, cables, airpods, printed circuit boards, battery. Component procurement. Once the design has been finalized, the necessary components for the manufacture of the hearing aids are procured. These components include the transducers, electronic circuits, batteries, housing, and other, other items necessary for the operation of the device. 
benefits of building a prototype. Decrease risks, improves product quality, reduce possible disapproval from the public, early discovery of design problems, estimation of production costs, manufacturing time and material requirements, select the machinery need for the production, testing for fit and dura durability, simplify the design of products and calendars, know in advance the spirit durability of the product, thanks for the test too. Wish the prototype is subject. Okay, not in advance. No in advance. No in advance. Advanced. Okay. Repeat, lady. Stage. A stage. Mm -hmm. That is the, the stage that you mentioned there. Okay. The stage. Finalized. Repeat that. Finalize. Finalize. Yes, you pronounce it different. Okay. Really good. Thank you so much. Do you have questions for lady? So lady, please send uh one to each of your classmates. One each of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So lady will send to you a headset in order you can take your classes. Okay. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you so much. Okay, good presentation. So I like them. Okay, just allow me a moment. Let me um, share my screen. Okay, well done. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, now we're, uh, we're going to continue discussions about products and different ways that we have to to refer to the different products. We have a lot of topics related to products. Okay. Assembly. This is a new verb that you have to learn how to pronounce it. How Have you ever visited an assembly plant? Someone in here in El Salvador? Or if you work in one of them, let me know about your experience. Uh huh. Nobody. No teacher. Teacher. No. Uh, uh huh. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe ten years ago or no, fifteen maybe fifteen years ago, I visited uh the plants of the La Constancia. Uh huh. Right when the have a producer like to. Uh, uh, beers, right? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is what's amazing because, uh, you know, it is, uh, with my own eyes, uh, you know, is, uh, saw the line of the a lot of bottles in the line, you know, and then. Uh, put uh, uh, the liquid inside to the bo the bottle and then the corcholata I don't know how to say it, tapan or opone right and uh, you know it, it really you watch the, the or saw the the three brands uh, how to put the, the liquid inside of the bottle Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Um, I remember that I saw a uh, a big uh, bottle. I, I imagine that they have 
uh, wired or, or maybe or, or chemical. I don't know this, but it's very interesting, teacher. They saw the or all that line of products of production. Did you drink? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the limit is that was what... the main purpose. <laughs> yes, I drink beer, Carlitos. Uh, after the the three beer, they, they tell me they told me no, no, it's only three for 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 each uh, visit. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I remember that I I. I don't, I didn't eat. So, you know, in my stomach explode that. Because <laughs> only the three beers. <laughs> only alcohol in my stomach, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yes, that that was maybe, good experience. Maybe but... Maria, yes. Uh huh. Okay. Cork. Cork. That is the way that you said corcholata. Ah, cork. Cork. cork, yes, oh, K at the end. Uh huh. Core, ah, uh, core with K in the end. Mm -hmm. Core. Dizzy. Okay, and Mariado, you said dizzy. <laughs> okay. <You> felt dizzy. <laughs> yes, I felt dizzy. Ah, okay, okay. Dizzy. Okay, okay, good. So, how is an assembly? assembly line different from a product line what is the difference between them do you know i know i don't know teacher mm, someone Maybe else when, when, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when uh, in this case i think teacher when you speak about assemblies when you use maybe robots i think uh-huh, they use robots. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it says that it's a factory where a large of items, for example, cars, the video that we uh, watched today, so that was a assembly plant, right? And the production line is different. So there we have a line of workers, but also we have machines, right? But it's um in that case the the a human manipulates the machines well I in an assembly the, too but it, they are more independent the the production line maybe to share uh, is a uh, uh, antigua or without technology maybe mm, we can use technology right but in uh -oh. this case, um, well, they are almost similar, right? Okay. But the only difference is that, as you said, uh, there are uh, like robots, uh, more technology, so the machines can work by themselves, right? Just you have to turn on, dent, and they start working. But also there are people who needs to know uh he needs to be there checking that everything is working okay, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, production line. So also there are workers, um, I mean humans and machines of equipment. Um but you have well, they have to use the machines. They have to handle the machines and other machines can work. Yes, but they yes, are yes. almost deep. They are almost similar. Okay. The production line and assembly line. Or the product is the, the one that is different, right? So we know all the uh, products that need that assembly. Tienen que ser ensamblados porque se van uniendo las diferentes yeah. partes, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we know what is the difference. So when, when a product uh, has been uh, ensamblado, right? And when, so the product has been just produced by hands so or machines, but there is no assembly on it. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me check one thing here. 
Let's say about an assembly line maybe is located in a in a hill hill located maybe. Uh huh. Okay, good. We're going to continue. We have here building vocabulary. So what I want is go to your online dictionary or your cell phone and try to look for these different definitions. Okay, we're going to make the difference between them. Those are uh, definitions that we are going to use in a production company. Conveyor belt series a la slab. Banda transportadora. Mm -hmm. Conveyor belt. Correct. Oh. This one. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Here you have an example, conveyor belt. Those are used mm. in different companies. The uh, I saw conveyor belt in the, in the fabric like or, or factory like Constancia. You saw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That are a different kind of. Yes. Okay, what is a production bulk bulk production? Is a manufacturing process in city. Mm -hmm. Refers to the manufacturing process of producing many identical products mm -hmm. using assembly line method and automatic man ma machinery. Various interests including clothing production use this math production method. It is math math production method because they are really fast. Okay, there are um, um, multiple identical products being produced in, the, in this kind of production. It refers to that large quantity, okay? No son poquitos, so son muchos, 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 muchos during the date. 
that is bulk production. Means volume. Volume. Mm -hmm. Volume. volume. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So in the manual labor, you know that is a physical work done by humans. Then we have the, mach the machine hours. The machine hours is a unit of measure that denot denotates the potential time of a machine during a certain period. It is used in various contexts, such as scheduling and planning, manufacturing processes, calculating machine rates for cost counting, or estimating the depreciation of machinery. So that is the meaning of machine hour. Okay, this is vocabulary related to production. Okay, remember this vocabulary because you are going to use it in the activities that we're going to do later on. Teacher. Or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Machine hours, uh, remember uh, this is used to calculate cost. Is very uh, uh, maybe difficult to calculate, and uh, but is a uh, uh, useful to uh, a contable department. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Someone else has a different comments or question? No? Okay, we're going to continue. We have here another vocabulary. Some of you have been uh, working with this. Do you remember one word that is there? Mm -hmm. That wasn't your material, Carlos. Yes, it's true. It's true. But okay. what is different? A screw, the number five. This is an individual screw. A screw or A, a screw. A screw. And this one is in general. Mm, okay. It's plural. No, no, no. Just it's in general, right? The, the definition. But this one is an individual, just one. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Un tornillo. Uh -huh. Y the other one is tornillos. No. O tornillos. Tornillo. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I give you three minutes to to match the terms related to the assembly processed processes to the corresponding meaning. Okay, Carlos, what will be screw? What is the definition for that one? Uh, screw. Okay, to say, give me one second. Uh, I don't know, sure. Maybe. But you know the meaning. You already know the meaning. It's not. It's the sentences or or, or match with sentences too. The to tore an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be torn anymore. Mm, no. No. Uh, 
I don't know, teacher. What about you, Rodrigo? <clears throat> uh, screw, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's the it is the fourth one, a pointed piece of metal with a twist part on its colored thread. Sorry for the number, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that is the I, one. I think you can do it in Roman. <laughs> palito, palito. Okay. Yes. yes. That is the one. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Number two, very colocho. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Now, if that is that is the general meaning. Now, Carlos, what is a uh, individual? Okay, teacher. Uh... Well, that will be the individual. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. Uh, to join two pieces of metal or plastic by hitting. So the eggs come together. Oh no, let me see. Ah, aquí dice ah, entonces sí es un individual there. So in this, in this case will be number number five here, Rodrigo. <clears throat> let me see. Sorry, because it says it says ah, it's true, and it says ah. You so, mean a a, a, a tornillo. Mm -hmm. So it means uh, that is individual there, right? It will be here, number five. Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's better. Okay. So I'm going to help you with the definitions. Let me see. Stop here. And number two, which one? Okay, read the definitions that I have here. We can take a picture and then we're going to move. Where will we weld, Carlos? It's true. Weld. The first one, well. Ah, well. Ah, good thing. Give me one second. Well. Mm -mm -mm. Is number three. It's column three, line three. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating. So the eights come together. Okay. Will be number one. Good. <clears throat> Another volunteer to answer what is adjust. Adjust. I think it's the first one. Mm -hmm. That will be number four. 
a teacher de, de ah no 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 nothing 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 <laughs> abort okay. that abort okay okay adjust will be to move an object slightly so that it, it, it is in the right place or fits better okay lo ajustamos adjust okay so what wow. about tighten The second option. Mm -hmm. To turn. And the num Sorry. And the to number two is the <laughs> ultimate. Mm -hmm. Okay. To attach one surface to another using a screw. This is the verb. Es el verbo en este caso. Mm, uh -huh. Atornillar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, pay attention to this. Take a picture. Because you're going to use it. Give me one second, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, down teacher. Okay, good. Let me delete this. Porque si no me queda machado la otra slide. Okay, good. Really good. So uh, now we're going to check here a point of grammar. Just we are going to read it today. Uh, if you don't understand very well, don't worry. We're going to review it tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, How do you... tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> On Friday. Oh, Monday. <laughs> tomorrow but, we are but... dead. But yes. if you want to share, no problem. Tomorrow we are sleeping. Huh? But if you want, no problem to share. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, tomorrow <clears throat> we have to sleep. More than. Okay. 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 At least okay. eight hours. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> At least. If you can wow. sleep 10 hours, it's okay. <laughs> okay, really? good. Why? Why not, Carlos? Uh, maybe the custom uh, in my case, for example, on Sunday, uh, always I want to wake up very late, but I cannot because that the custom happens. Yes. 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 Uh, I um, disactivate the alarm. Yes. So. I don't know if the customer I and suddenly I wake up very early on, on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ah, happens. If you have babies. Yes. yes. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Well, it says uh how to use in direct questions, information questions. So here we have um explanation and examples indirect information questions are now introduced by if no instead they are introduced by wh word okay for example i wonder what the two pieces i need to weld are okay but in this case it doesn't have um Question mark because it is, I mean, it is a question, but it, it doesn't um, have the structure of equations. If you can see here, it, it's 
it says what the two pieces I need to. Uh -huh. And R is at the end. Okay. If we compare that with the direct question, it will say, what are the two pieces I need to weld? Okay, here we have the bird to be at the beginning. That is direct. Okay, another We can example. use both, teacher. You can use both. both. Uh, it depends okay. of how you want to sound. If you want to sound polite, with the end direct question, or just go straight to the point. Okay, number two, I'd like to know, uh, that is the, the phrase, right, that make it indirect. I'd like to know when the provider will send the order <coughs> of screws. Okay. And the direct question is direct, right? When will the provider send the order of screws? So you can see the, the difference. The indirect question is more polite. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you this... have a phrase before the question. So you say, I wonder, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm, or okay. I'd like to know. Okay, It sounds more polite. And the other one, the direct, and you got straight to the point, so you are not saying anything uh, like mm -hmm. the phrases that the indirect question have. Okay. okay. Would okay. you mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. telling us how much the provider charge to process the order? Okay. Would you mind telling us? How much the provider charges the, to process the order. But if you see here, it has the structure of a question. Since the beginning, after the phrase. That is why it has a question mark. Okay. So the difference is the phrase that is before the direct question. Because if you compare how much... That's the provided charge to process the order. The difference is that here we use the auxiliary dust. And sure, why you use dust? In this case, because is the it is in it is direct. Direct. Mm -hmm. Direct question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the auxiliary that we use. That's the auxiliary to make the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, will you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? As you can see there, it has the structure of equation. What time the first batch is expected to be complete? But before we have the phrase that make it indirect and why we add this question mark because it has a structure of equation, okay? And then we have the direct question. What time is, this is using the verb B, what time is the first batch expected to be complete? That is a direct. Reminders. Helping birds like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. If the introductory segment is a phrase, for example, these phrases, right, before the direct, the, the, the indirect questions, use a period at the end of the direct question, okay? If they are a phrase, use a period at the end of the indirect question. If the phrase is a question, use a question mark. Okay? So this is a phrase that we have at the beginning. And here we have a question. Will you mind? Will you let me know? Okay? That is the difference. See la polite... Uh, 
digamos, introducción. Es como pregunta, you are going to use a question mark. Pero si es como una frase, you're, go you're going to use just a period at the end. Okay? Tomorrow Is we're it... going to see more examples. Yes, Carlos? Excuse me. Uh, the auxiliary does, uh, it has nothing to do with it, uh, plural or singular. Mm, are we using does here? Oh, it's only uh, the, the instruction or grammar. Uh, use does in this case. Okay. Remember that does is used when we refer to a third person. Okay. For okay. example, if I refer... I, I refer to it, for example, these, pe these pencils, these mm -hmm. pens. So they, they are it, right? I can use that. If, if that refers to she or he, also I can use that because it's third person, singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, how much does the provider charge to the process provider is the third person maybe provider yes ah, okay mm -hmm. okay good it is individual for this reason i can use that use that correct mm -hmm. okay okay thank you okay good so we're going to have a um exercises on monday about this as a review um that will be a homework for you okay try to correct the order of the some assembly all the parts of the bicycle okay try to make an order of this process it is in the material it says number the drawing, so you're going to add a number, for example, which one you consider that is number one, in the correct order to assemble, to assemble all the parts of a bicycle. ¿Qué haríamos primero si fuéramos a ensamblar una bicicleta? What what's mean frame? What does mean frame? Frame, frame is this. Es el chasis, maybe. Este, este. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, this part. Ah, okay. El marco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, try to Wait. order how to uh, assemble all of them in a bicycle. So shipping is that is the first the first uh step, right? Once that you have the all the parts, what you are going to do? What will be the second one? The, the first is, is shipping. Mm -hmm, because you receive it. I mean, you ah, request it. it yes, in, in size. And, uh, unboxing the old part. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, maybe number two could be teacher uh, frame. Frame. Okay, that will be two. Yes. Okay. What will be number three? Mm -hmm. Alberto, I think wheels. Wheels? Wheels. Okay. Number three. Wheels, okay. Okay, will be as a homework for you to complete all the all the parts. And on Monday we're going to discuss all of them. Okay, so what does mean? All of them. Uh huh. Sad, saddle. 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 Mm -hmm. What saddle. do you think? What do you think? Any idea? It's like a seat. Mm -hmm. We saw that before. Yeah, it's a seat, this part. Mm, okay. 
Okay, really good. Uh, we're going to discuss that um, on Monday, and we're going to write equations about that, okay? So we're going to continue Monday. Also, we're going to work on the on that activity on Monday, homework 18, as I promised, at 10 o'clock, okay? Okay, the beers are waiting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, you? take okay, care. You. Have a good night, everyone. You too. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. See you on Monday and have a nice weekend. Thank you, Rodi. You too. Bye. Bye.